Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You know, um, we are, you know, probably a half a day away from that garbage-ass Triple G fight, you know, which is a joke. And as I said before, I won't be watching that fight. And the best thing for boxing to do is not tune in to that fight. Real talk. Do not watch that fight because it's like this. I remember people were saying, hey, boycott Floyd versus Conor McGregor. At least that was an entertaining fight. And we already knew that was really an exhibition match. We already knew what was the purpose of that fight. We already knew nothing was on the line. So that's totally different. But this is a guy that's basically taking the coward's way out and trying to not only protect his O, but basically still secure a payday with Canelo. You know what I'm saying? As I said before, the hypocrisy with Triple G fans is just astonishing. Like I said before, these were the same motherfuckers that was telling everybody and their mama, you know, well, I'll just put it to you this way. Every black fighter, they should fight this dude. They should fight that dude. They should fight this dude. They should fight that dude. After this dude, fight this dude. Fight that dude. They wasn't trying to put an age limit on, <laughs> on who they should fight. Because, you know, they kept telling 50 and 0 he should fight Triple G. But then, now, all of a sudden, oh, Triple, tri Triple G's too old for Chalo. He's, he's too old for Demetrius Andre. He's too old for O'Sullivan. I mean, the nerve of these motherfuckers, man. And then, you actually had clowns trying to justify this fight, saying, oh, who is Chalo beat to deserve a fight with Triple G? Really? Well, who is Marta Rosa beat to deserve a fight with Triple G? See, like I said before, these clowns change the narrative when it benefits them. Now, all of a sudden, it's an age limit. You know what I'm saying? On Triple G. But, keep in mind, Bernard Hopkins, as I said, fought and kicked ass all the way up till he was fucking in his late 40s, early 50s until he had, you know, that crash course by Joe Smith Jr., where his ass crashed on the table when he got knocked out the ropes. But, hey, you know, it happens. He went on a little too long. But, case in point, so if B. Hop can fight into his 40s, or should I say 50s, then, and take on some of the best dudes and win. Now, he didn't beat everybody, but he had some good wins, some good quality wins. So why can't Triple G do it? Now, all of a sudden, like I keep saying, now all of a sudden, mandatories don't matter. Do not watch this fight. Do not give this dude ratings. Because at the end of the day, for the last five years, people have been telling us that this dude is the greatest fighter in the last 20 years, but yet he's yet to prove it. He's been very selective about what type of opponents he fought. Now... I'm going to say this much. I'm sure I'm going to hear about it. And I'm going to tell you right now. It's a no-win situation for triple fraud. Because if he knocks Marta Rosen out, okay, that was you, that's what you were supposed to do because he hadn't fought in over two years. Now, if you go to distance with Marta Rosen, it, you look even worse. So like I said, once again, this could be a fight that backfires on Triple G. He better knock that dude out. He better stop him with this six round. If he goes 11 rounds with this dude, it's a bad look for Triple G. It's a bad look with him taking this fight anyway. But he better knock this dude out because I'm telling you right now. If he don't, what Triple G will do, he'll go into a fight with Canelo win, lose, or draw, either he'll try to set up a third fight with Canelo or he'll try to retire. And then Triple G, once again, will be exposed as the fraud that I've been telling you that he is. Nobody should be paying attention to this fight. Like I said before, why is it okay for him to get a tomato can Uber driver 
foot locker worker exception, but then nobody else can. But they swear to God he could beat Chalo, he could beat Demetrius Andre, he could beat O'Sullivan, he could beat Billy Joe Saunders, he could beat all these dudes. All you know what I'm saying? Dorian Chaco. Dorian Chaco, Billy Joe Saunders, Chalo. Three of them are mandatories. Canelo doesn't have a belt. So like I said before, when he signs to fight Canelo in September, it'll it'll show you that Triple G's whole career was a fraud. He, it was never about belts. It was never about being better than Bernard Hopkins. It was about fighting a bunch of bombs, getting your stature built up by a bunch of fake ass, you know what I'm saying, media, including Dan Raphael, fat. I mean, Dan Raphael... When I say homeboy, he really need to go on the diet. You know a dude is extremely fat when he holding his waist and holding his back up when he talking to somebody. That goes to show you he is extremely overweight. And he better do something about that shit right away. I'm just keeping it 100. Like I said, that's the reason why he always was praising Triple G because he kept going to those free buffets. Those fake ass lunches with those terrible ass sandwiches and all that shit that don't even taste good and shit because he loved those free lunch buffets they would have for the media and shit. Because I know I've been to a few of them. But as I said before, He better knock this dude out, man. He better knock him out. Because I'm telling you now, if dude lasts more than, than, than seven rounds with triple fraud and he do some damage to triple fraud, I'm, I'm clowning. I don't care if you motherfuckers dumb down the video. And it's so funny. You guys, swear to God, you don't care what I say. You don't like my channel. But you motherfuckers will watch my video so you can dumb him down. That's why I know you motherfuckers is fans. That's okay. Like I keep saying, man. Like I keep saying, man. What can I say, man? The LDBC, me, Fred, you know what I'm saying? Ticket, you know, Santi, Coach, Blood, you know what I'm saying? K Black, Cali Enigma. We got it going on. You know what I'm saying? That's why motherfuckers be making these videos talking shit about us and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers wearing fake ass Goodwill coats and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shopping at you. You know what I'm saying? Shopping at the poor man's uh, section of uh, J.C. Penny, going to the uh, clearance section, buying dirty ass sixty year old man sports coats and shit. You know that uh, all sales of finals. You know what I'm saying? Eighty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> Lions <Lying> skin. <laughs> Tell the freaks to find a man of their own. Bust ass nigga. But um, yeah, man. Real talk, man. Motherfuckers watch our videos so they can dumb them down. But like I keep saying, man, they fans and shit. And like, as far as this boxing shit go, we keep it real. You know what I'm saying? We keep it real, man. Nobody should watch this bullshit ass fight, man. Only an idiot. And only a die-hard, nut-hugging ass Triple G fan would try to insult our intelligence by telling us this is a good fight and this is a solid fight. Because if you believe that, you just as stupid as the motherfucker making videos trying to justify this bullshit ass fight. Real talk, man. So, as I said before, in closing, homeboy better knock dude out. And as I said before, keep trolling LDBC. You know what I'm saying? All the dog fuckers. You know what I'm saying? Broke ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? That shop at the Goodwill and shit. Buying sports coats and shit. Other motherfuckers wearing fake ass. You know what I'm saying? Red rags. You motherfuckers too. You know. We know you want views and shit. And I know who y'all trying to copy off of. That only worked for homeboy. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day. He got tired of doing that shit. Now, me and dude, we cool. We squashed our beef. I don't have no problem with him. I wish him the best and shit. But y'all need to quit trying to copy off a of homeboy, man. Trying to use that formula. Because that's already been done. And you know what I'm saying? Homeboy, he patting that. So I'm just keeping the trill, man. Like I said, shout out to the LDBC. I'm fucking out, man.